Hi guys, one more tutorial to show you the basics of the viewer tab for the skeletal version of the brand new AutoPack software available, uh, available brand new for 3D Studio Max 2013 64 bits. You can download and install it for free at autopack.org, A-U-T-O-P-A-C-K dot O-R-G. Um, I follow the instructions to install both EPMV and AutoCell, uh, it's actually called AutoPack now, inside of 3D Studio Max 2013. And I'm just going to click on the Viewer tab. I've opened this first Autofill GUI. Uh, we have several tabs available here. The Builder tab is not yet functioning for 3D Studio Max. That'll be coming very soon. And when it's ready, you'll be able to uh, check for updates and update your AutoPack software automatically from within 3D Studio Max without having to do any tricky downloads. Um, back to the Viewer tab, all I want to show you is a model that we're preparing for a contest coming up soon that you'll be able to participate in. This is a very simple version of the model. Scroll down to HIV and click Construct. And what's going on right now is AutoPack is reaching out to uh, our database online. It's figuring out what portions it needs to be able to construct the geometry needed for this model. It is then building them into the scene with an instancing technology to position the geometries as efficiently as possible. And we end up with a half of a spherical HIV particle as well as this large GUI to control the particle in the viewer. So let's zoom out and the only way I know how to do that because I'm not yet a very competent 3D Studio Max user is to select all and then click this zoom out button and let's deselect so it looks a little more attractive in our scene. And let's zoom in a little bit And I'll just orbit around really quickly. So just straighten this guy out a little bit. So those are the basics. And then using the the GUI itself, you can control the elements and We'll clean up the graphic user interface in, in the future, but you can, for example, turn off the spike proteins, which are currently called ISUTM, by unchecking these buttons. We can turn off all these blue capsid proteins by clicking on display their geometry. So now we've got a relatively clean scene with um, simply the nucleocapsid proteins and the HIV contributing components of the, the matrix. And if you're curious to know what these shapes are and what they're about, we'll explain that in a contest that's coming up to render a very complicated version of this HIV particle that will be floating in blood serum very soon. So please keep an eye on our website for the auto cell visualization challenge that's coming on December 1st. Thank you.